What is up guys, welcome back to my daily plans and goals. So today, um, the new update just hit us, and this is my, I guess my new plans after the update. So first of all, I still haven't checked out how hard it actually is to farm B9 or B8 golems. I guess we can do a quick run right now and see if there's anything different. Um, I definitely want to do a PvP video today because I want to see the changes to armor break and how it's going to affect me in the... Um, in the arena because I use my my fire Arthur sometimes. Um, also, also what else? Oh yeah, I started raising my Dark Victoria. I think we can start. Uh, we can basically ascend her right now. Let's, let's might as well do it. Yeah, get that free armor break, baby. Oh dude, I love that. I love this monster so much. I don't know why. I just I just like her a lot. Um, I don't know, I, I like dark monsters. I've always liked dark monsters, like, my favorite Pokemon type is dark. Like, I, I fucking love dark monsters. Um, my favorite Pokemon is, uh, is Tyranitar, by the way. It's, it's not, like, the one of the original, it was from the second, second generation. But, like, you know, dark Pokemons didn't exist till the second generation. There weren't a lot of dark Pokemons. I remember in the, in the past, like, I, we, uh, a friend of mine, like, made this, like, custom Pokemon tournament on a on a Game Boy like advanced emulator and basically everybody picked a type of Pokemon and then we we uh we did battles and that that cheap bastard he he said like he he rigged that shit all right he was like uh, my type is legendary all right and then he freaking picked all the legendary Pokemon from season one and season two with like you know like Lugia and like um, the the uh, you know Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, and uh, and Ho-Oh, and all all that random shit, and uh, <laughs> and I I use like I use like Tyranitar and like Houndar and Houndoom and stuff, and the surprising thing is after the tournament, like I was actually the one that that like won the tournament, um, and it was the final was actually me against him, and I actually like it was like super super close. Cool. So I was literally like one attack away from. From uh, from me losing and I actually won that it was it was just the best ever you know like that that motherfucker actually got owned um, but holy shit uh where where was I oh yeah something about dark monsters oh yeah I was gonna raise her to to max level so I'm definitely working on fusion as well um, I'm working on um, on on trying to get all the pieces in order to get her to to evil 3 which is going to take quite a long time um there's yeah there's a, there's a, there's a lot of shit there's there's like all this all this random shit i need to do so i'm going to be doing a lot of testing today i think like in regards to the armor break so i'm going to do a arena video later to to do some tests i'm also going to do a run in the or do a few runs in the golem dungeon to do some tests um for that as well to see kind of see what it's what it's like after the, the change to armor break and all that stuff there's another monster i've been looking uh, looking towards building and that is the water cura the water cura wait i do have two copies of her um, wait, is that one that one max level? That one has. Wait, let me think about this. Triangle, double, double triangle diamond versus square triangle square. Which one's better? I think double triangle diamond's better than double square. I mean, she doesn't need crit. Diamond, you can at least put one resistance on her in the future if she doesn't need it. But then you can, like, she's a tank monster, she has high HP, she doesn't have high attack. But like, if you're pairing her up with all nukers, you can even put some damage on her too. Actually no, that sounds absolutely retarded, I, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I guess I'll raise this one then. Yeah, I was thinking of raising the water cure up because of the change to attack up. I mean, attack up didn't used to do much, but now it's gonna do quite a lot. And she has morale boost, like, morale boost on a healer is insane. Um, so I'm looking towards building that monster maybe for the future as well. Trying to build like a full nuke team. I, I want to try to get a variant version of the Dark Victoria so I can get the um, extra attack power. Her main weakness is that she's balance type so she doesn't have like really really high attack but she does have a lot higher HP. Well she has pretty high HP for um, for just you know a random monster. Um, 
Her her defense isn't all that high either. It's basically I think some of her most of her stats went to HP and recovery. Recovery is not all that useful, but I think her skill set can make up for it. Like it's pretty balanced in the set in the sense that she has the same exact skill set as a Nat five, um, which is actually pretty dumb in my my opinion. But dude, I fucking love her, so I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna be raising her. Um, Probably gonna buy some of the new packs as well. It's like just a lot of free astrogens once I run out, because I'm running out very, very soon. So I'm gonna do some tests and do some testing around um, later today in, in in my videos. And also, I picked up a new game called um, called what, what was the game called again? Oh yeah, Lineage Red Knights. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep playing. It's just kind of testing it out to see if the game's any good. But so far, it does look pretty good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe just uh, do do a few things on that game as well just to just to just to test the waters um, and if it's something I want to do in the future I'm I'm probably going to make uh, make content for both games so yeah that's pretty much it uh, I'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching and peace out